Hi everyone. In this video, I'll be talking about a concept or a device which will be used by some clients in the Citrix environment. It is called Thin Clients. So if you are someone who is working in some Citrix environment or if you are someone who is going to work in some Citrix environment, you might come across Thin Clients while working with some clients. So as you see in the picture, Thin Client is a device, okay? Thin Client is a device which can be connected to a monitor and the users who use this in clients can stream the virtual desktops okay they can launch the citrix applications or desktops from their end user devices so uh, let's say let's consider for example if you have a laptop or a desktop okay let's consider for an example if you have a laptop or a desktop a laptop should have a laptop has a minimum configuration of like 8 GB or 16 GB RAM or i3 processor, i5 processor, i7 processor, all these things. It could be a little bit expensive for end users to use these laptops or desktops. So instead of using those laptops or desktops, companies, what they can do is they can provide these thin clients. Okay, they can provide these thin clients to the end users. Let's say if an organization has like 10,000 employees and Employers cannot, you know, purchase 10,000 computers, desktops or laptops and give it to the end users. These, these days, all the users are connecting remotely. They're working from home. They work, some are working from coffee shop or some are, some are working from office. So the companies cannot buy, you know, uh, laptops or desktops and give it to all the users. So in this case, to save, to save money and to, to make it quite user friendly, employers can, companies can simply purchase these thin clients and they can give it to the end users okay they can give it to the end users so what they can do is they can simply connect this thin client to the internet service provider modem or whatever it is and they can connect it to the monitor a simple monitor and they can access the virtual desktops or applications okay all they need to do is they need to connect this to a monitor and they can stream or they can launch the virtual desktops or applications from any location. Okay, so this is the whole idea of thin clients. So it can save a lot of money actually. So employees can simply buy these thin clients. So there are there are different manufacturers in the market. It could be Dell or it could be HP. So they can buy these thin clients and they can give it to the users. And you know, Citrix administrators can uh you know deploy the vdi applications over the back end and users when they uh connect to the once they power on this thin clients they can launch the virtual desktop they can connect to the virtual desktops and they can launch it straight away so they need not you, you, they need not use laptops or desktops for this so let me scroll down a little bit so this is how it looks this is how it looks okay so thin clients and zero clients easily integrate into your vdi means virtual desktop infrastructure and enjoy high performance on thin and zero clients okay so basically uh, users are launching these virtual desktops from a centralized server from a centralized centralized service but not from the local machine so that is why users can enjoy the high performance because they're coming from the uh, you know backend environment on they can do it on thin clients and zero clients so zero uh, so far we were talking about thin clients zero clients means it's like you know it doesn't even have a processor or memory it is like it is like a monitor that's it it is like a monitor it has some you know it, it has a device and it has some firmware in it and it doesn't need to have the components that thin clients have thin clients have some a little bit of you know processor memory storage but zero clients would not have those things so thin clients and zero clients would be very very helpful to access citrix environment vdi environment especially okay so all in one thin client simplify secure uh, simplify security deployment and remote management in a in a space saving design so uh, and one of the key benefits of thin client is it is not only about the cost it's about the security it's also about the security see if users are connecting to the you know virtual desktops on their laptops or desktops it could cause some kind of security issue sometimes if the applications are accessed by laptops or desktops but if the users are connecting through thin clients or zero clients it really helps to 
you know uh, prevent any security issues because the virtual desktops or the you know applications are streaming from the centralized server from the centralized server okay let me open the powerpoint presentation now okay in simple terms what is thin client thin clients are lightweight low cost devices that that derive support from a server to perform it functions they have components one would expect to find in their fat client counterparts including processors memory storage usb ports and os easy to install and manage so thin clients basically look like this yeah basically look like this and and they have processors memory storage usb po usb ports and os but these are all you know uh, you know they are not very high end uh, you know processors it does not have high end memory or storage they are they have basic processor basic memory basic storage and basic usb ports okay it it is not like thick clients or a laptops or desktop which have a very high end configuration so thin clients have basic processor memory storage and operating system so this is how it looks basically so let let us go to the next slide so it is basically it is it is it is very easy to install and it is very easy to manage now let's go to the next slide okay thin clients are cost effective computing solutions that can be used to operate protocols like microsoft rdp uh, teradc pcuip Citrix HDX and VMware Blast Extreme. This will facilitate connectivity to your virtual or physical remote machine, and from there you can access virtualized applications. So, using thin clients, you know we can access all these protocols. I mean, all these uh, virtual desktops, whether they are coming from uh, uh, TerraDC PCIe/IP or Citrix HDX or VMware Horizon Blast Extreme. Okay, this will facilitate connectivity to your virtual or physical remote machine and from there you can access virtualized application so thin clients will help you to connect to these environments it could be citrix environment or vmware environment environment or teradc environment okay from there you can access your virtual applications okay let us now go to the next slide okay what are the benefits of thin clients okay now we have discussed a little bit about thin clients now let us talk about the benefits of thin clients so it has less vulnerable to malware attacks so let's say if a user is accessing from a laptop or a desktop maybe it could maybe you know uh, it it could have some vulnerabilities if the operating system is not up to date it can have some kind of vulnerabilities but if the users are connecting to the citrix environment from a thin client then it is less vulnerable to malware attacks because everything is coming from the centralized location from the backend server and we are streaming the virtual desktop to the thin clients and it has longer life cycles it has longer life cycles because see laptop or desktop or thick clients you know maybe they have they can work for like few years or five years but thin clients it, the life span is quite high compared to uh, traditional laptops or desktops and the other advantage is it uses less power so normal laptops and desktops we need to have power we need to have high power and it consumes a lot of power but when it comes to thin client it uses less power and the next one is less expensive to purchase than deploying regular pieces as we have discussed in the initial few in the first few minutes of the video it is very you know it is very economical it is not it is less expensive compared to the traditional laptops or desktops that we use on day to day basis better it is better centralized manageability as i said before this can be managed centrally it can be managed centrally and it is more scalable so let's say if, if let's say there are you know 15 new employees you know who join the organization instead of you know purchasing 50 new desktops or laptops you can simply send the thin clients to them they can you can simply send the thin clients and monitors to them they can simply connect and start connecting to the citrix environment so it is quite scalable okay let's go to the last slide so let us now discuss a little bit about the drawbacks of thin clients okay so far we have discussed about you know the benefits uh, you know i would also like to talk about some drawbacks so the drawbacks are like thin clients are extremely dependent on a continuous network connection so in order for the thin clients to work properly in order in order for the thin clients you know to stream these virtual desktops or to access the citrix applications the network has to be really really good network has to be the bandwidth has to be good and the network connectivity has to be really really good
And the next point is networks are generally slower than relying on internal computer components. Networks are generally slower than relying on internal. Okay, so uh, when using the thin client environment, networks can be a little bit slow. It could be a little bit slow compared to the uh, traditional computers, traditional laptops or computers. And bandwidth and performance can be a critical bottleneck. As I have just discussed, the bandwidth and performance need to be really, really good. Otherwise, it can cause some kind of bottleneck or performance issues. And the last one is serv servers must be sized correctly so they can deliver the right amount of resources to each client. Okay. So uh, if you if you if the end users want to access his virtual desktops properly, we need to make sure that these virtual desktops are provisioned properly in the backend environment. We need to give the right resources. We need to provision it correctly. The size, you know, it, the, we need to provision it correctly so that users can launch these virtual desktops or use the Citrix applications from these thin clients or zero clients without any issue. So the Citrix administrators or the people who are managing the centralized backend environment where they provision these VDI machines or Citrix application, they have to size it correctly. Otherwise, these thin clients or zero clients will not be able to connect to the Citrix environment properly. Okay, so this is uh, what I would like to share in this particular video. I know it is a pretty long video. I would like to give some basic details about these thin clients and zero clients because I have not discussed about this concept before. I really hope you find this information helpful. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel i hope you find this information helpful thank you for watching i will catch you in the next video bye bye